Hi, I'm Craig Doerr, Technical Lead for Authentication at RSA Team ANZ. I'm going to show you another topic in RSA Auth Manager 8.1. In this demonstration, I'm going to show bulk provisioning of software tokens to multiple users. More specifically, I'm going to demonstrate an admin push motif in order to push out multiple tokens to large sets of users. This is handy for a small team that is managing a large token fleet. The way this is done is via the Security Console GUI. No programming or special features are needed for this operation. It's built right into the product. So let's get started. The first port of call is for me to list my users that I want to operate on. So in this case, I'm going to choose AD as my identity source and then simply list the users. The next step in the process is for me to select the users that I'm going to operate on. I could, for example, select all the users and use this context drop-down to, say, assign Secure ID tokens. In this case, I'm just going to choose three users. Once I've selected the users, I'm going to select the operation that I'm going to perform on them. In this case, assign Secure ID tokens. Once I hit Go, the first part of the process is complete, and now I just need to choose my tokens. I have three users selected, so therefore three software tokens will go to these users. There is one caveat to this process. You, make, you need to make a note of the serial number range that you are assigning. So for example, I've got serials ending in 4.1, 4.2, and 4.3. As I've done my homework, I have a serial number range already specified in this notepad. This will become handy in a moment. Once I select my tokens, I click Assign, and the first half of this process is complete. But the next stage of the process involves me getting the tokens into the user's hands. There are many ways to do this. If you check out some of the other videos in this channel, you'll see a variety of provisioning me methods that we support. In this case, I'll just simply show a distribution of tokens that are based on QR codes. QR codes are a natural standardized URL scheme in order to allow the software token application to access the token and install it. So that's what I'm going to do. In this case, I need to hit the authentication menu, go to Secure ID Tokens, and distribute software tokens in bulk. In this case, QR codes are a subset of Dynamic Seed provisioning. The next step is to select a software token profile. You control which profiles are available to be chosen. And in turn, the types of profiles govern what type of device the token goes to, what provisioning method, and other behavioral attributes of the token. In this case, I select Droid with QR. And as you can see, several behavioral aspects are listed in the selection screen. Once I've selected this profile, I need to specify the range of tokens that I'm assigning under this profile. So, back to our notepad. I select first the serial number range. Once I have this range, I hit next, and it has a confirmation screen that shows me what I'm about to do. In this case, I click Submit, the job is being processed, and it may take some time if you have many tokens to distribute. In this case, there's only three. Now the next step is to download an output file that contains a list of the tokens that I've assigned. This contains information about the user and then information about the token that you have signed. As you can see, these three users are selected, and the idea here is that now all I need to do is have a standard boilerplate email and mail merge this. This email can contain instructions to the users in how to download or activate their tokens. In this example, it will direct them to the self-service console to use a QR code to activate the token. And that is essentially it. The final step is the user receiving the email, following your instructions, and installing their token on their handset. Again, this can be done for 
hundreds if not thousands of users in order to push out token functionality to them. And again, I will remind you, multiple provisioning methods are supported in this scheme. And that completes the demo. I hope that you see the time and resource savings that you'd achieve using these methodology. Thank you for watching. I hope it was informative.